after we set up a new GA4 account, we're typically always going to hook it up and connect it to Looker Studio. Uh, the main reason for that is inside of GA4, you're a bit limited with visualizations. Looker Studio is a much more powerful data visualization platform. So by connecting the two tools, you can um, get better insights from the data and you can create client reports or reports for your leadership team that are much more effective than having someone having to navigate inside of GA4 and try to pull custom reports there. So in terms of how you connect Looker Studio and GA4 together, uh, we're gonna open up Looker Studio and you're just gonna click create report. And this will give you a blank report uh, canvas to work out of and you'll see the data source options. So we'll click on Google Analytics. And then from there, we're just going to click on one of our accounts and we'll connect to this one. So you just wanna select your, your GA4 account that you wanna use and then click add in the bottom right. And this will add that data source to this report. And it's auto, we're automatically gonna see a table here get generated. Um, and we're not gonna get too deep into how to use Looker Studio, but essentially now we have GA4, it's already connected. It's really as simple as that. And now when we go to dimensions and metrics, we can select any of the available dimensions and then any of the available metrics and create the charts that we want to see. So just one example, uh, if we add a chart, let's say we want to add just a time series chart. I'm just going to drop that here. Google will pull in a, a couple metrics by default. So let's say we just want to see sessions. We can search for that metric and here it is. And now we have sessions by date. If we want to change the date, maybe to look by month, we can click here, click over here and do something like year month. And then what I probably want to do, because we're only looking at a short time range, is put in a date range so we can adjust this as well. Let's say we want to see the last few months. And let's click on that. And now we have a few months of data to look at in terms of uh, website traffic and sessions. So tons of options here. My preferred method is instead of starting with a blank template, I prefer to start with a pre-built template. So you can make one template with all the metrics that you wanna see, and then you can duplicate that very easy uh, for other clients or other websites that you wanna analyze. So one example of that would be um, creating a template like this where there's already a bunch of pre-built uh, charts and reports. And all we're gonna do here is we're going to go to resource and manage added data sources. And then we're going to add the data source that we wanna see. So let's add that same one to this report. And then when we go to make a copy of this report, we can now select that data source. So before we make a copy of the data source, we just need to make it reusable. So when you're in edit mode, we're gonna to go to resource and manage added data sources. And you'll see the new ones here. We just need to click make reusable and upgrade the sharing permissions. And this is gonna allow us to copy the report utilizing that new data source. Now, the reason that's important is because we're not gonna have to manually connect the data sources to all of these charts and all of these pages that are already built. We just need to map the new data source here. So you'll see the existing ones. All we're gonna do is select there and we're gonna be able to actually change our data source to the new one that we just created. Now, ideally, if there's multiple data sources, I would have done the same process in setting up a new search console, uh, two new search console data sources. But for example, here, I'm just gonna do the GA4 one. And all we need to do now is click copy report. And this is now gonna load a new version of the report utilizing the new data sources that we just selected. So now we have these two charts, they're already built, they're already formatted, and we're automatically utilizing that new data source. We don't have to manually go into this and add the data source uh, to each chart. So really making a data studio template first and then connecting your GA4 and just continually to make copies. So if you're working on multiple client accounts or if you have multiple websites you're trying to analyze, having that repeatable template where all you need to do is upload your data sources and you can quickly make a copy and have a new report uh, almost instantly is, gonna, is really critical to kind of having consistency in your reporting and seeing the, kind of the similar metrics and what you really wanna see over and over, but also for scalability and being able to do this for multiple clients um, or multiple websites that you're managing. Uh, this can really speed up the process and then improve your consistency in the reports that you're delivering.